Ahrefs is by far the best keyword research tool in 2021. I have it pulled up on my screen, as you can see, and I use Ahrefs every single day for all my research. You can research keywords on Google, on YouTube, Amazon, Bing, Yahoo, and so many more. Um, typically, I, spit, I stick with Google and sometimes YouTube, but you can do all your keyword research. It's not the cheapest tool, but it is the best tool, hands down, um, for keyword research. And um, there's actually, even if you just want to try it out, there is a seven day trial for $7. You pay $7 and honestly, you can do your whole keyword research for a month, even several months in advance, even all year if you wanted to. I typically do my keyword research I typically do my keyword research just for the next 30 days because keyword research can change. Why do I think Ahrefs is the best? There's many reasons. One, um, you can do Keywords Explorer, one of my favorite things, and you can get all kinds of different information. Let me just pull up a few things just for fun. We're going to search dragons and see what comes up. So you can see, you can see keyword difficulty 64. I probably wouldn't go for dragons as a new website, but maybe you can. But look, look at the things, information you get. You get the keyword volume, you get the cost per click, you also get terms matching, you get all kinds of questions. And I love this questions part. Because you can click right here and look at all the information you get from Ahrefs. You can get um, the keyword difficulty and it's it's red, yellow, green, red are hard keywords to rank for, yellow are you know in between, and green is my go-to keyword research, especially for new websites. And anything green, particularly 10 and under, is a go-to keyword. So look at all the questions you can answer about dragons. And there's one here that's zero difficulty. How often do bearded dragons shed? 450 people searching this per month, and uh, you get all this good information. Here's something else that you can do. You can, let's look at this one. How big do bearded dragons get? So you can go over here and click on this SERP, and you can, it'll pull up the top 10 search results for that query, for that question, and you'll be able to see the domain rank or authority right here. And there's a number three, a 10, a 20, all in the top 10 uh, search results of Google, which I think means that this could be a pretty good keyword to go for. Obviously, you want to do keyword uh, research and competition research when you're going for keywords. But this is why I love Ahrefs. Now, right here, you can see the top keyword that all of these sites um, rank for. Um, and also you can just click and you can go to each one of these sites as well. So you can get things like how many images are there this site using, how detailed is it? And this one looks pretty detailed. And also how long is the article? So you can check that out about any of these terms. So this is one reason I love Ahrefs. Now, another thing that I love about them is this, is that you can change things. You can look for just keywords that are difficulty of 10 or lower, and it'll pull up all of the easier to rank for keywords. You can change the volume, and you can change the word count, the number of words in your query. You can include words, you can exclude words. There's all kinds of different filters you can use. It's one of the reasons I love Ahrefs and I really encourage you to check it out. It's by far the best keyword research tool of 2021. Like I said, I use it every day for multiple websites. But I wanna show you one other thing that I do, another advanced way I would say that you can use Ahrefs to get some really great keywords. I want to show you something else that's very cool that Ahrefs can do. Let's say you're doing your keyword research and you check the search engine results page, the SERP, and you find that for your low competition keyword, there is a ranking website with a low domain, so zero. Um, you can go to this site. You can pull it up like that, and you can copy the name of the website. 
and you can come back to Keywords Explorer, actually come back to Ahrefs, and you go to Site Explorer. This is one of my favorite hacks for finding keywords, especially for new websites, but it works for any website, no matter how big you are. So you just paste the website in there and you search for it. And what you're gonna find is lots of detail about this website. You're gonna see what the domain rank is. You can say it's under one, it's 0.8, and that means it's a new website, it has low authority, so here's how you find your keywords. You go over here to organic keywords, and you're gonna see the different keywords that this new beginner site ranks for in the top 10 search results. You see the position right here, seven for this keyword, one for this keyword, and you can go down and you can see that this website is ranking in the top 10 search results for many keywords, that are getting 300, 600, um, 2.4K thousand volume on a low competition keyword, and they're right now ranking 16 as, as a beginner website. So what I usually look for is I go to position, I want to know which one of these keywords they're ranking for in the top 10 um, for these low competition keywords for a new site. And so I'm going to look at these keywords that are pretty easy for the most part. And the position of this new website is under 10. So they're on the first page search results. They're as a new website, which means as a new website, you if you create better content that's more relevant, matches the searcher intent, then you can also rank on that first page and sometimes above this existing website. So let's look at this one, how to make a bearded dragon poop. This is a two keyword, but they're in position one as a very low domain authority. So let's look at the SERP and see what we find because you can get so much great information. You can find some really untapped, underserved keywords doing this method. So look at this on their number one um, and they have all of the websites on for that question that's getting at least 100 um, searches per month. And often when you write an article about a keyword like this, you're gonna match and rank for other keywords too. So it's not unheard of for you to get two, 300, 500. Sometimes you get real lucky and you can get up to a thousand um, page views per month on a keyword like this. But let's look at this top 10. All of the top 10 results are under 50. The domain rank is under 50, which means you have a good chance of ranking on this first page. Um, and that's how you find these kinds of keywords with Ahrefs. That's why I love it. I'm not an affiliate for it because as far as I know, they don't have an affiliate program. I wish they did. And if they did, I would sign up immediately because I love Ahrefs. Now there's one more thing I wanna share with you. It's a cool other aspect or feature that Ahrefs has to get keywords, to do your keyword research for 2021. The other thing I love about Ahrefs is that, as you can see here, there is an Ahrefs SEO toolbar Chrome extension. You just go to the Chrome web store, you search up Ahrefs and you can get it. Now it won't do anything for you unless you actually have an Ahrefs account. So you have to at least do the free trial or the seven day trial for $7 um, or get a full blown account with Ahrefs to make it work for you. But I absolutely love it. Here's what it can do. We're gonna keep using the bearded dragon suggestion. So we're gonna put in the bearded dragon example. We're gonna use this example of our bearded dragons colorblind. So I'm just gonna copy that, go over to the tab. I'm gonna post it right here, hit enter. And Google's going to give me the results. But what you'll also know is over here on my right hand side of my screen, Ahrefs is going to give me keyword ideas. This is often where I get my subheadings in an article that I write about my main keyword. Um, I can also go to people also ask or go down here to the bottom, look at related searches. And I can also use um, forums, bearded dragon forums, also right here. You can get some examples there, or if Reddit or Quora also show up, you can also get some of those subheadings from there. But Ahrefs, the Chrome extension, it's awesome. It also shows me this information about each website, the domain ranking, um, and then some other stuff. But mostly what I look for is the domain rank to see if I can beat these websites as a new website or a beginner website. 
and I use this for my keyword research in 2021 and going forward for all my websites. So I wanted to show you that. Again, just go to the Chrome store, download it. I really am excited about it. Again, I use it every single day. I'm going to have a link in the description of this video where you can go to Ahrefs and you can start your seven day free trial for, or not free trial, but trial for $7 and, or sign up for a full account, which is what I recommend. Again, it's not an affiliate link for this, this particular tool. It's just the best one that I know and the best one that I use on a daily basis. Now, if you want to know what other tools I do combine with Ahrefs, sort of my SEO tool stack and my just content creator stack, I use Ahrefs for keyword research. I use Jarvis AI Writer for all of my content. It creates about 70 to 90% of my content for me. Every time that I do a new article, it's gonna write about 79% of that article for me. I still have to edit it. I still have to fact check it. I still have to guide the tool, but it's the absolute best tool that's out there. I actually have the highest uh, account plan that's possible called boss mode. And there's lots of different types of plans, but you can actually try Jarvis. You can claim 10,000 words for free which is going to give you a t just a taste of what this um, copywriting tool can do. Now, there's a, there is a link in my description of my video about getting this tool so you can try it out. Now, that is an affiliate link, but I use Jarvis for all my website content. I have had no problems with plagiarism checks because I check all my content every time, and it is a life send for content creators. Make sure you check out Jarvis. Make sure you check out Ahrefs. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you at the next video.